Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about the quadratic formula. So I'll explain it clearly to you. I'll share my screen with you. So the quadratic formula explained. The standard form of the quadratic equation is given as ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero. That is the coefficient of x square is not equal to zero. So what we do initially is subtract c from both sides of the equal to sign, and we get ax square plus bx equal to minus c. Then we divide both sides by a, which is the coefficient of x square. We get x square plus b over ax equal to minus c over a. Then we add the square of one half of the coefficient of x to both sides. Remember the coefficient of a of x is b over a. One half of it will be b over a divided by two, which is b over two a. So we square that b over 2a and add it to both sides of the equation. So we, what we get is x square plus b over ax plus in parenthesis b over 2a square equal to in parenthesis b over 2a square minus c over a. Now we are going to use the formula a plus b whole square, which is a perfect square, is a square plus 2ab plus b square on the left side of the equal to sign to get x square plus 2b over 2a. Remember that 2 in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator cancels to 1. So that's what we did. We multiplied by 2 in the numerator, divided by 2 in the denominator in the second term in the coefficient for x plus b over 2a square is equal to b over 2a in parenthesis square minus c over a. Now the left side of the equal to sign is a perfect square using the formula a plus b square. So it is x plus b over 2a square is equal to, on the right hand side of the equal to sign, we have b over 2a whole square minus c over a. Or we have on the right hand side b square divided by 4a square minus c a. Now we will make the denominator on the right hand side of the two terms same. So we multiply the second term by 4a in the numerator and in the denominator. When we do that, the second term, the denominator becomes the same as the first term, which is 4a square. So we have x plus b over 2a square is equal to b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square. Now we take the square root on both sides to get x plus b over 2a is equal to, remember the plus and minus sign, square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square. So we have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus minus square root b square minus 4ac and square root of 4a square is 2a. Now we will subtract b over 2a on both sides of the equal to sign to get x equal to minus b over 2a plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Or if we simplify x equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And that's your quadratic formula, which we obtain by completing the square. If you have any question, please send me a comment. I will write back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with different kinds of problems, different solutions. And I look forward to see you again. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and take care. See you next time.